Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you, Monday, 11th Jan. Lively weekend in Bitcoin, good 20 uh, mumble percent lower. Um, still above where we sold. We sold uh, right around that 32.5 area last week. Um, we're square. You should probably be short Bitcoin. Um, by the looks of this, I will not be short, um, but oof, looks like uh, sort of a bursty, bubbly uh, thing happening here, balloon popping type thing. Uh, be careful. Uh, manage your Bitcoin professionally. If you have, if you're leveraged, be careful, I should say. If you own Bitcoin, it's fine. Bitcoin's going to be fine. Um, we'll be looking to buy some again for, I don't know, around 20000 or so. Whatever the 50% of this move is. So, yeah, so 42. So we'll be around 21 or something, something down there, um, which will spook a lot of people. And if 20000 trades, 14000 will probably trade. Um, but it's always weird when you see NFL football players putting half their salary um, at 35, 36, 37,000. This is never really a good sign. Um, so be careful with your Bitcoin. Equities, <clears throat> mildly bearish. Um, the news flow is just, I don't know what it is. It's just sad and wild and... I don't know, impeachment and virus and so it's mildly negative. Um, not much talk about vaccine and hope. Um, valuations, of course, are wildly high, so this doesn't help. Uh, but I don't really know what to do with this uh, equities. 37.76 was the low Friday. We need to touch below that for us to be proper uh, risk off. We are short crude. Uh, this is our choice for risk off, whether this, I don't know why we're short crude. Uh, historically, we're not great at crude, but we're short crude trading this from the short side. Um, we saw a really compulsive move up to 52.80 at the close Friday. We pretty much closed that sort of gap at the open here, but we've been been left hand side ever since. You can see bang, bang, bang. Um, Fifty two thirty is of interest to us. We think this is sort of the medium term pivot. Uh, I'm sorry, fifty one thirty. So we're kind of using this as our bull bear line. We'll get fully bearish below fifty one thirty. But with crude, we it's kind of like stocks. We don't sell low ones. We let things print and then try and sell high ones. It's sort of a different way of trading. Maybe that's why we suck at it. Um, anyway, we are short crude. Gold. Um, holy Jesus. 18, 17, 10, the low in gold futures. <laughs> It's actually, I mean, if you're long, it's not hilarious, but it's 150 bucks um, from the highs. Uh, that's just a stunner. Back the cat and have it. Yeah. Wow. Is this thing going to trade below 1767? Um, yeah, it kind of is. So be careful if you're long gold. The way people are reacting to this move down also makes me think it's got further to go. People are sort of in disbelief. They're not being rational. They're resisting stops. Um, the move down to 1817 are just guys who like resisted putting stops in and then chucked them in below this low here, which is 1820. Um, there will be many people who are resisting putting stops in and put stops in down below 1767. Those, those I think, will get taken out. So be careful, gold. Uh, we're square at the moment, but shit looks bad. Euro um, took the 
took out the much publicized, um, well followed Euro longs. Um, they had stops at 75. That's been done. This is now, it's been tricky, right? Um, trying to be short Euro. This, uh, this line here didn't really work. Came in at 68. We traded back to 88. And we printed the 30 low, the 15 low. And every time we've had 50, 60 point bounces. It's been tricky. Um, a lot of the New Year dollar shorts are now gone. I'm not really sure what to make of this now. We're square. Uh, we're watching bonds, which are, um, you can see here, 186 is the yield for TYX. We think TYX is going to go to 250. So if yields keep going up, that gives you another reason to own uh, dollars. And then, of course, uh, the big elephant in the room is equities. If the bubble does pop, obviously there'll be some crazy dollar demand. Uh, I remember, I don't know, 2008, I think, Dollar Swiss went to 10017 during the, during the craziness. Where did it go? 122. So we were sitting down at 96. Everyone was bearish. The bubble popped. Dollar Swiss went up to 122. I remember I was in Zurich uh, chatting with a dude that I do some business with. Um, and he was working for one of these big banks and he was gloating about dollar shorts. I'll never forget this. And, and I was like, I'm not sure. I don't really know. And But it certainly didn't make a whole lot of sense up to 122. And then you can see in one month after... You know, so this is the equity slam. And then everyone's like, holy shit, look, Dollar Swiss is at 122. Bang. One month back down to 103. Um, I bring this up because this reminds me of what could possibly happen um, this year. Equity slammed dollar. A massive move into dollars. So just sell the fuck, sell everything, sell your Bitcoin sell your gold, sell everything, go square, uh, and repatriation into dollars. We're not there yet. We're not even close to there yet. Um, we haven't even printed a new daily low in, 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 in equities. But that scenario in Dollar Swiss, which was quite an unforgettable one, um, is on the frontal lobe here. Dollar Yen... Um, that's the monthlies. Let's go to dailies. It's kind of doing the same thing, right? Like, why is dollar yen higher? Nobody really knows. It just is. Uh, is this going to continue higher? Um, yes, it is. It looks like it definitely is. Uh, you want to buy low ones here. There's no real momentum-style break trades on the horizon in dollar yen. You just want to buy low ones. Same with dollar Swiss. You just want to buy low ones. We talked about it on Friday. Uh when it was at 50 you know so today you might want to sit there at between 65 and 15 I know that's a broad you know that's three quarters of a percent that range but depending on your risk tolerance you want to buy low ones in dollar Swiss what's probably going to happen here is we're going to trade up to 89.20 do a little sideways action and then bang ring the fucking bell um, through 89.20 in dollar Swiss. Cable, 135.40. We were watching it all week last week. It broke uh, at the Tokyo Open, or really broke at midnight last night. We did not trade it. You can probably hear in my voice, fucking annoyed. Um, but such is life. We don't break trade at the uh, in the twilight zone at the tippity top open. It will be resistance today, 135.30. Um, Low's been 91. 03, not not much to do. Aussie uh, on its knees, already down almost eight tenths or eight tenths of a percent. We've been talking about how we don't understand why this is higher. Here it comes lower. Uh, we are not short. Maybe some consolidation and 90 could be a platform 
to get short but really uh, this is your platform 76 um, 7640 that's your sort of medium term bull bear line Aussie N same thing Aussie N's going down slower because of the dollar yen side but we have printed this triple bottom here at 8015 you know could be worth watching dollars are you know the deal this is not going to help this sort of risk off tone today for uh, the South African Rand you want to buy low ones keep in mind we traded 30 handles lower on Friday so the, the high was basically 50 we traded down to 20 now we've traded back up to 50 again I doubt I doubt we're gonna get 30 handles lower but you just want to try and stick your hand in um, and buy low ones so maybe between 35 and 20 today um, try and buy low ones I'm just looking at our crude price here 5170 this thing continues to go lower obviously um, talking my book there a little bit but 2020 in um, dollar max is sort of interesting let's go to the dailies this thing has been uh, stubborn does not want to turn but we did clear out that move below 60 will uh, the move below 70 uh, will have fucked a lot of ducks so the top side is a bit clearer weirdly we've printed 18 again today 2020 is actually quite an interesting point especially if we get crude below 5130 um, might want to ring the bell up there at uh, 2020 let's look at these yields quickly any move back down to 105 or even 108 in the yield so you're selling ZN you're selling ZB so ZN any move back towards sort of 137.07 ZB is going to be much more volatile um, so be careful of this my original inclination was to sell 169.15s today um, but there's going to be a broad band of selling so between 169.15 and 171.15 that's two handles um, obviously if you're going to put that kind of fade on don't leverage um, this you could this is the type of fade you get fucked on uh, if you leverage but uh, we do think this is important we do think um, you know this thing is going to go to, to, to 155 um, but if we are risk off today and we are going into some weird impeachment bullshit or if Trump does something like totally wankery uh, bonds could go higher so keep in mind there's a push and pull here the the trend is lower the news flow could push bonds higher I don't think so um, this is a conversation for another day but you know globally nobody wants to own um, US assets no one wants to own these bonds foreigners aren't buying them as much the only people who are buying these bonds are the people who are issuing them just think about that for a little bit it's a little bit disturbing um, but again this is a conversation for another day uh, let's just recap here dollar max uh, looks like the best chart point otherwise we're just um, fishing fishing for dollars dollar cat also let's just pull this up quickly 12933 is going to be support this also broke in the twilight zone. Um, I'm sorry, 127.33 is going to be support. Um, so buying dollar cat also looks looks interesting. All right, I've said enough. Man, 14 minutes. Uh, good luck out there and a bunch of knuckleheads uh, listening to Privateer FX. Um, also, thanks to those who bought... Uh, bought Dublin his coffees whatever um, that's just kind of fun we've obviously been doing this for three years um, the poor schmuck uh, has now accumulated like $71 um, 
but I like the fact that he's stubbornly sticking with it. Um, and I like the fact that having only like enough money to buy three beers, he can't get that drunk, uh, which, well, he's prone, prone to do. Anyway, Reba Catch you guys tomorrow. Make some money out there, please. Ciao.